Hey everyone, it's VD Engineering here and welcome to my video on designing a controller for a 2D quadcopter in Simulink. Our drone will be modeled in two dimensions as shown here. We have our Z and Y plane. It will only be moving in that plane with an angle of phi, which is the roll angle. U1 equals the force from the propellers and U2 equals the moment. The mass equals 0.2 kg and the moment of inertia equals 0.1 units. Since the system is non-linear, because we have sine functions and cosine functions for phi, also U1 is coupled for both Y and Z, we need to perform a linearization. The system is linearized around the hover point because that will be the most stable point. So at this hover point, we have a number of properties. U2 equals zero because we have no moment since the roll angle must be zero. When we set the Z double dot to zero, it's not moving up and down. So U1 must be mg. With that being said, we can then perform a small angle approximation. The phi is zero, so we can add delta phi to that. And we add delta values to the Y, the Z, the U1, and the U2 as well. When we plug these values into our equations, we get Z double dot equals G minus U1 over M. Phi double dot stays the same and Y double dot equals G phi. The reason why the sine and the cosine disappear because cosine of a small angle is equal to one and sine of a small angle is equal to just the angle itself. We'll be designing a controller for the system. Since this is a system in which we have lower, less number of control variables than the degrees of freedom as shown here, we need to design a cascaded controller for the second function. Since from U2 we can obtain phi and then from phi we can obtain y. This is a perfect example of a coupled system. For our path, we'll be using a figure eight. The drone will be starting at zero, zero and moving in a figure eight and coming back to zero, zero. We have T as about 10 to 20 seconds and we have our Z function as five sine T and our Y as 0.5 sine 0.5 T. Let's now get to the problem. We are here in Simulink and we can start modeling our ODE. The first thing you do is we'll be starting with the Z double dot function, which equals U1 over M minus G. So drag in a sum block and the G will go into the minus sign and the T over M will go into the plus sign. Drag in a constant for your gravity, which equals 9.81. We can name the block G as shown here. And that'll go into your minus sign. I did make a mistake there, so please watch your signs as you follow along. So U1 equals your force, which is a control input, and you can drag it in there. That'll go into your plus sign, but we need to multiply it by one over M, so we need a gain block to accomplish this. Mass equals 0.2 kilograms as defined in the problem statement. So drag it in the plus sign and we can then perform a double integration because we have Z double dot and we need Z. So type in integrator in Simulink browser and drag in two blocks to create a double integration. So we can now obtain Z from our Z double dot and we can create an output block to represent Z because we need to have it feedback into our system. So now let's do y double dot and phi. So drag in one over ixx and set that to 0.1 as defined in the statement. And u2, so create another input for that, which is your moment as defined. Then we can once again perform a double integration to get phi from phi, phi double dot. We can also drag another output block since our phi will be cascaded into Y and then fed back as well. So drag in the block. Here I'm just renaming stuff to make it more understandable because it's always good programming practice to do this in Simulink. So now we can drag in the output and set it to phi. And since the phi is being multiplied by G and that is set to Y double dot, we need a gain block for gravity. So drag another gain block into your workspace and set it to G which is 9.81 meters per second squared. And now we need to connect that to five as shown here. 
So now we need to perform another double integration to obtain y from y double dot. So let's now do this. Once that's done, we can drag in the output and set it to y. So now our inputs can be changed into u1 and u2 as shown here. Okay, so our plant is now done and we can create our controller. But first let's zoom in here so you can see an understanding. Please change that sign as I mentioned before in the sum block in your Z loop. And our Y is, looks okay. So we can now create our subsystem. So drag across and click on create subsystem to accomplish this. Okay, so this gives you a much better representation of your system and now we can design our controller with respect to our subsystem. So first let's start off with the Z controller. It's gonna be a PID. So drag in a sum block into the workspace and once again set the signs to minus and plus because our error has to be a difference between Z input and Z output. Press Ctrl R to rotate if you want to and drag in your Z into the negative sign because that's your feedback. Your PID block, drag in a PID block from the MATLAB workspace into there. And that's your input now, so we need to drag in into the sum block. So now we need to set our Z function, the sign function, as 5 sine t as mentioned in the problem statement. So we can quickly do that using the sine wave. Set the amplitude to 5 and the frequency to 1. The frequency is simply omega, so it tells you how many times per second the function will oscillate. That's our Z controller and our error and also the Z output as labeled here. Next, we can perform the cascaded controller for the phi and the y. So the phi is the inner loop and the y is the outer loop. So we will need two PID controllers to do this. Drag another sum block because we will need two error feedback loops in here and connect the blocks as shown in my problem. So U2 will take in the moment from the second PID controller, which depends on what the phi is. So let's now drag in the blocks and let's create our loop. So here I am just simply connecting all the blocks to create the control loop. The phi error is the second PID. It goes into that. So the phi gets fed back into the second PID because that's your inner loop control. And the Y function itself is the outer loop. So we need that in here. Also, we need to feed back the Y as well, but we can first define the Y input, which is, which is equal to, I believe, sine of 0.5T, but you can fix that yourself after. So here I have my Y loop and we can then adjust the controller value. So this is very important since it's only gonna be a PD controller, no integral action, because the function itself is quite linear. So set your KP and KD values, set KI to zero everywhere. For the phi loop, we can then simply set the KP and KD. So let's do Y after. For Y set the KP as shown here to 0.2 and then the KD to 10. And for the phi function, the KP and KD must be very high because the inner loop dynamics must, must be much faster than the outer loop. This is a fundamental concept of a cascaded controller because the inner dynamics must adjust much quicker with respect to the outer dynamics. I'm making a note here so you can use it for reference. So every time you design a controller, please make sure that the inner loop is much faster than the outer loop. My results can be seen here once I run the controller. You can see that the phi value is jumping very high up and down, so we can stabilize this by using a saturation block and drag it in. Set the limit to 0.8 rad, which is about 85 to 90 degrees. And let's connect the blocks as shown. So when we now run this updated system, we can check our phi output by dragging the scope block on the top right corner and simply connecting the input and the output and comparing it. So here I'm just dragging the blocks together and setting up my scope. Hit, hit run again and then open the output block. You can zoom in there and you can see how it looks like. It's much better now and your file stabilizes much quicker. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. That is a simple 2D cascaded PID controller for a quad rotor moving in two dimensions, Y and Z. I hope you guys understood the whole thing. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.